us deal with one important program on recursion that is to generate Fibonacci numbers using recursion. We have seen Fibonacci numbers uh, just using a simple while loop or a do while loop or even a for loop in that case. Now this time I will be trying it using recursion. How to get this values? I am supposed to design a base condition. Now if I keep you with a name then probably the things are too complicated for this particular application. Let's avoid the name concept at this place. Let's do it using a new method. Now what is a fib of 0? If I ask you to find Fibonacci of 0, the answer is what? 0. If I ask you to find the first Fibonacci number, Fib of 1, in that case, Fib of 1 is 1. You know what is the first Fibonacci number that is 0 and the second Fibonacci number is 1. What if, if I ask you to find Fib of 2? You should immediately say that I don't know what is Fib of 2. But if someone can get me to this particular level, so when a 2 is given, what I'll do is, I'll ask someone to find a fib of 1 plus fib of 0. So fib of 1 in this case is 1 plus 0, that is 1. So here we return the value as 1 for this particular case. It gets added up and then 1 plus 0 is 1 in this case. What if, if I ask you to find the third Fibonacci number, that is fib of 3? When fib of 3 is given, you will say that I know what is fib of 2 and what is fib of 1. Fib of 1 can be obtained directly. Fib of 1 is what? 1. Fib of 2 is unknown. So if fib of 2 is unknown, again what will you say? You will say fib of 1, fib of 0. So Fibonacci of 1 is 1, Fibonacci of 0 is 0. 1 plus 0 is what? 1. So that 1 goes to this place. 1 plus 1 is 2 in this particular example. Similarly, let's try one more tree. If I say fib of 4 need to be found, I need to know what is the fib of 4. Fib of 4 is not known. Hence, what you will do? You will say, if someone gets me fib of 3, I can add this with fib of 2. So I don't know what is fib of 3. Fib of 3 is what? Fib of 2 plus fib of 1. And fib of 2 is fib of again 1 plus fib of 0. So I know what is fib of 1. Fib of 1 is what? 1 plus fib of 0 is 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. That goes to this place. So this particular tree still gets expand. Only fib of 1 is known that is 1. So fib of 2 gets further expanded. So this is fib of 1 plus fib of 0. Now let's add these values. Fib of 1 is 1. Fib of 0 is 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. So 1 plus 2 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. We get this particular value. So you can keep on expanding this particular tree to any level of your choice. So simple way to analyze. When I ask you to find a fib of n, when I, when I give you a value n, what you will do? You will check is this n 0? Is this n 0? If the n is 0, then you will say answer is 0. Is this n 1? You will say answer is 1. But if n is anything apart from 0 and 1, you will say that I don't know. But you will say that you will find this if someone can get me fib of n minus 1 and fib of n minus 2. I can add n minus 1 and n minus 2 and then add them and give you fib of n. If n minus 1 is equal to either 0 or 1, if n minus 2 is either equal to 0 or 1, I'll give the answer. If not, I'll grow this particular tree further. So I can use this particular process to help uh, the Fibonacci number generation using this recursion. Let's see the code for implementing this particular tree, tree diagram. So here, you'll have this particular Fibonacci function, fib of int. I'll ask the user how many Fibonacci numbers to be printed. The user says that he needs to print five Fibonacci numbers. So first time is one, second time I'll, I'll say this till n. So you can even take this as zero, and you can take this as n minus 1. You can start the count as 0 and n minus 1. So when i is 0, sorry, this is c, so this has to be fib of c. So let's say this, fib of c. So your take variable c has been set to 0. I'll say n minus 1 c plus plus. So the same value is being passed, c, and you can take even this also as c plus plus. So fib of c, what is free? c is 0. Go to this particular place. 
right so you can even uh, since c plus plus is incremented you can avoid writing this instruction so fib c c is zero go to this particular place c gets copied onto n n is zero zero equal to zero true return zero that gets printed as zero then go back c becomes one fib of one so one goes to this place n equal to equal to zero no one equal to equal to one true return one that gets printed when you go back c becomes two so two then you can try two pass to this two equal to zero no two equal to one no two minus one is one and two minus two is zero so one gets copied and two gets copied again the functions are called and these values are added and finally it returns so here you can use the counter itself as a variable for c or you can take i as a number i is zero and fib of i and then i plus plus both would have been worked even c would have been worked if c had been used then c has to start from both one and n and you can take a new variable as i and i plus plus or what else i'll say c as zero and go till n minus one c plus plus and then do this particular task so we'll be able to generate the fibonacci series using this particular recursion process so the tree diagram and this particular program may be that this particular program since it is not being said in the same manner as we did with for fact power or some of the digits but definitely the tree diagram and the implementation structure and the program will help you to understand this particular code in a better manner you can take a pause at the end observe this particular program one more time you can either use i or the correction which i made as c do this analysis how exactly the function goes and then you'll be able to understand the entire concepts thoroughly. Thank you.